Hi, this is Wide Joe Strats, uh, giving you a Medulce deck profile. Really quick, the uh, purpose of this profile is to keep the deck uh, as streamlined as possible, as well as interrupting your opponent's plays as frequently as you can. So the uh, first three cards we have are three uh, Angeli. She's the heart and soul of this deck now. Imagine got bumped right out of place. Uh, normal summoner first turn is an easy plus two, and that uh, sets you up for the rest of your game. Next, you have uh, two Hoot Cake. Uh, same as what I was running before, keeping two, uh, two at a consistent number just because drawing into it in any situation is terrible. You'd rather search off with uh, Angelia and continue with your combos from there on. I've got two Magellan. Uh, might come as a surprise to a lot of you because some people are running at this at three, but I feel two is a lot better because she's not what you want to start with. She's only optimal in a starting hand if I have double summon because I'm going to imagine double summon and then go forward into Angelic. So she just pushes a combo a lot further. We've got two cat. Three's not necessary. You can search it when you uh, draw into it with uh, your opening hand with Angelic. It's just Tiramisu and a rank three. Either Levier or your Invoker. Got three Messenger Lotto here for you. Uh, I keep it at three just because I've had it in situations where it'll get banished or I won't find one or something stupid will happen to it like it'll get trapped under a bunch of XYZs so uh, throughout the testing I kept finding that 3 is a better number to run at uh, different tech here for you it's signal uh, train signal red uh, when a card gets hit by damage you can special summon this thing defense position and it's indestructible by damage and it becomes the new target so Perfect for stalling your opponent and it makes an easier rank 3 for next turn. Uh, got two Spell Striker. Again, you're running a lot of spells in this deck, so now one of the car nice combos is Rota and Spell Striker. Banish Rota, summon Spell Striker. It just helps you extend your plays that much further. I'm gonna switch it up. I had uh, two effect available before, but now we're going to two max C solely because uh, on your turn, if you do draw onto that hoot cake in your hand, you can pitch max C on your turn and you will have something to banish instead of effect failure which is only on your opponent's turn. 2 MST, uh, I won't show you my side deck just because every side deck is uh, unique and tailored towards what you're playing against in your locals, but I do uh, side the third one just in case I'm playing a spell or trap heavy deck. 2 Instant Fusion, I'm going to abuse this as long as I can until uh, noting comes up because I'm sure the card will get hit to one when that happens but uh, it just helps with the extra deck cards I'm running for uh, more rank threes and rank four plays. As I uh, mentioned before I've got two double summons here they're very nice with the Dolce's because uh, the cards will, if you've got the right field the cards will just float back to your hand all the time so you can really push for game with this card and keep extending your combos. The one as mentioned Rota. I'm running two Chateau and two ticket. I like having a lot of targets to search with Messenger Lotto just in case uh, one gets MST and I can drop a second one right away. Uh, one of Palooza, she's a real pain in the ass just because Flip bring everything right back to the field. Uh, two Trap Sun because I'm not a fan of background. It's really nice just to blanket your opponent's uh, spell and trap cards so you can go off with your plan, hopefully push for game. Dimension Slice, just because of when you're going into with your XYZ plays, if you XYZ, you can use it on the turn this card is set. Got two Mirror Force because this thing's coming back into style again. Uh, battle Traps are apparently a thing. Two Wire Tap, you know what it does. And two Brave Through Skill because I got rid of the two uh, effect failures previous. I like Brave Through Skill because you can use it on, or essentially you can use this card twice, which is very nice. Uh, now onto the extra deck. Uh, the Dolce Beater, that's all she's really good for because as you notice I am not playing the rank 5 but Pudding Sess. So that's all she's really in there for. If I have to get over a bigger monster I can now extend up to 35 which isn't too bad. Uh, two tier Masus, gotta have two. Sometimes I run three just to keep cycling them because without tier Masu in the deck you're basically playing a whole bunch of little monsters that can't do anything. Abyss Dweller and Castell. Uh, both kind of fight against the meta there, and both I think are mandatory in any extra deck. You got two Levier, or Levier and one Invoker. Uh, continue on with your uh, Medulce combos with your rank threes. Angonier to protect 
Now a tier two essentially if you go first turn Tierra. Uh, Ghost Trick Alucard just for spot back row maneuver, uh, move, removal. And then the miscellaneous rank fours. Uh, Gagaga if you have to finish game, beef up a monster. And this is just nice to put over mech quick or any rank three. And then for the two instant fusions, I've got two targets here just for uh, the extension of your XYZ plays and hopefully you can push for game with that. Uh, this has been a uh, YGO Strats and thanks for watching.